Now, I said that you can assign applications and that you can publish applications. There is a definite difference between the two. When you assign an application, it can be assigned to either a user or a computer. When you assign it, it's going to be installed. You know, it's assigned to either a user or a computer, and it's going to be installed or advertised. Now, when you do this, um, if you assign it to a user, and this is an important point, when you go in and you assign it to a user, it doesn't matter what computer they happen to be on. It really doesn't. You got to be careful, though, because if they log on to a whole bunch of different machines, and you have a license for this, and it's not a by user license, it's by installation license or by computer license. If they log on to five different machines, you're going to have five licenses that are consumed. And that can get rather expensive rather quickly. But the advantage is, is that their applications follow them around. So as they go from computer to computer to computer, their applications are going to be there, um, which makes it pretty nice, you know. Uh, if I didn't install the application, that's fine. It'll be able to install it for me. Um, if you do have apps that are going to be used by most users, you can go ahead and assign it to the user. Now, if we share a machine, in other words, I have, I log on to the machine and she logs on to the machine as well. If this application is assigned to me and it gets installed, when she logs on to that machine, it's not going to reinstall it. It's going to say, oh, it's already on there. And then it doesn't have to go through and reinstall it. So, so be aware of that. Um, you can advertise them, which means it'll show up on the start menu. You'll have a shortcut on the desktop. It'll look like it's installed. It will appear like it's installed. However, it won't actually install until I run it the first time. Now, what if I assign it to a computer? Well, if it's assigned to the computer, what's going to happen is, is when the computer boots up, it's going to check the group policy, and it's going to install it automatically. It's just going to install it. It's going to be on there. So assigning, you can do to users, or you can do to computers. The next one that we have is publishing applications. Publishing applications is user only. You cannot publish an application to a user because when you publish an application, what happens is, is it doesn't look like it's installed. Instead, you have to go to Add, Remove Programs and install it manually. That's what's going to happen. So for the exam, make sure you know assigning can go to users or computers, whereas publishing is only users. And the way that I remember this is I think that computers don't read publications. Computers are not going to grab the local p newspaper here or this file that we have, this publication, and read it. But I can assign a computer to something. I can say, computer, you got to do this, and it'll do it. Okay. But it can't read a published application. So assign is for both computers and users, whereas publishing is user only, only for users. Very, very important. Now, wait a minute, Windows 7 and Vista doesn't have an add remove computers feature. Doesn't have it. So if I publish an application, you know, how am I going to go through and add that application? What you're going to do is you're going to go into the programs icon inside your control panel and you'll be able to add it there. So uh, it is moved around a little bit. And then if you get into Windows 8, <laughs> it's all tiles and it's pretty crazy. So. Uh, if you're familiar with Windows 8, it, there's going to be some significant differences.